Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2024 Ford Mustang. This particular Mustang is a GT premium model. It's finished in shadow black. And we're gonna take a quick walk around the outside of this particular Mustang here. Then we'll hop into the interior. Now this is basically a fully, fully loaded Mustang model. We have the optional performance package, which is a very, very desirable package that you can get for uh, most Mustang models. You're gonna get these really nice 19 inch wheels. And this particular one has the Night Pony package, which is basically a blackout package that you can get for the new Mustangs. So you do get these really nice satin black finish there to the wheels. You got the six piston Brembo brakes, finishing that nice red color to get a little bit of a pop there. You'll have a summer performance tire. And then with the front end, this has all been completely redesigned for 2024. Got these new LED projector headlights, which again are blacked out with that Night Pony package. Really, really aggressive looking front end here. And again, all blacked out uh, trim pieces and accent pieces there, really, really nice. And then a GT uh, exclusive feature is gonna be this heat extractor there on the hood. Really sharp looking front end here. And then we kind of make our way around the side here. Got your five liter badge on the side, which is also blacked out as well. And this is gonna be a convertible model. So you do have that power convertible top. There's a look at your rear wheel. This is slightly wider than the front at a 275 4019. The front is a 255 4019. And then make your way around to the back end here. Got this new redesigned rear end with the sequential turn signal to the LED lights there. Really, really cool looking uh, light. Plus you have the valved exhaust. So you do have that nice quad tip exhaust and it is valved. So there's actually different modes that you can change to increase or decrease the loudness of it. Really, really cool feature there. With the performance GT logo there on the back. And now we'll go ahead and take a look into the interior where the GT premium model is gonna come with these really nice black leather seats and they are uh, mostly power adjustable. Now the recline is actually manual and that's not on purpose because there are rear seats in the Mustang and in order to just you know be able to access them faster, Ford does just make that manual there. So that is done on purpose. You have two-way lumbar. These are heated and cooled, which is really, really nice to have, especially for those hot summer days. So you do have that uh, you know, fully power and uh, you know, a heated and cooled seat there. And then on the door panel, nice stitching with that leather here on the door panel, lots and lots of storage. And you do have the illuminated Mustang door sill plate. Now we'll go ahead and hop into the interior, uh, into the driver's seat here. Take a look at the key. Now this key fob does include the remote start system. Plus you can also pop open the trunk from there as well and push button start. We'll fire up that five liter V8 engine, which now makes 480 horsepower, which is 30 more than last year. And it's paired to, in this case, the 10 speed automatic transmission. Very quick shifting transmission. Uh, you get 10 gears, so there's lots of uh, gears for the RPM range. It's great for speed and power delivery. Really, really nice there. There's also the optional six speed manual as well. Uh, so there are two different transmission uh, options available and uh, all Mustangs are rear wheel drive. But we'll move on to the steering wheel and just kind of the general design of the interior. So this again is a completely redesigned for 2024. You have these new screens up here, which you may have noticed. So those are all brand new for 2024. Nice feel to the steering wheel here. Uh, really, really nice feel at your flat bottom which is also new and never been used before. So we got a nice flat bottom wheel, got your drive mode selection there on the steering wheel. You have adaptive cruise control and lots of different safety features. You have controls on the right side for the uh, gauge cluster. So this is gonna be your gauge cluster screen and you can cycle through loads of different, different settings and, and features. Now you get your fuel economy info in there as well. So really, really nice display there. And then the one next to that is gonna be your infotainment screen. So this is gonna be this 13.2 inch display. This does include the built-in navigation system. We're also gonna have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And this is also where you're gonna access the climate control. So your climate control is now integrated fully into the screen, uh, but it is very easy to use. You got your dual zone function right there, heated and cooled seat controls, you get your heated steering wheel, and also, uh, also more controls if you kinda push that button there, pull up a couple more things. Um, now if we go into the features section, 
This is where you're gonna access my Mustang. And this is gonna be some of your performance things that are now available for these particular models. On the right side is your exhaust mode. So you can change four different exhaust modes to kind of increase or decrease the loudness of it. Really, really cool feature there. And then you also have a bunch of different little cool things you can change. You have your cluster theme, you have track apps, you have auxiliary gauges, you can set your own drive mode. So lots and lots of things uh, and, and cool little quirks in the screen there. And then down below, uh, we'll kind of move off the screen new engine start stop button this is illuminated looks really really cool you have that kind of jet fighter look with the uh, kind of the red uh, looks really really cool wireless charger as well which is definitely nice to have and the uh, USB connections so we can keep everything charged up and this 10 speed automatic does include the manual with paddle shifter so you do have that manual shift ability with the 10 speed automatic and then right here got your electronic parking brake really really cool this also acts as a drift brake so this is electronic but it does have a drift brake function which does also come with the performance package nice uh, generously sized glove box there uh, which is really really cool and with the uh, higher end GT premium model like this we also have the BNO sound system and being a convertible model we do have that convertible top so we can twist this handle just like this and we have a button right here that we can use and this will automatically put all of the windows down for you and then it will power retract the top so really really cool very quick uh, um, operation there with the power top and uh, now you have that open air experience and then with the back seat I do have again that manual recline so you do have you know easy access and quick access into the rear seat so you do have two additional seats here in the rear now of course they're not particularly large you know this is a two-door sports car so we can't expect too too much but you do have some additional seats back here uh, if you need them just in case but now we'll come around to the trunk area there was a little button underneath there we can use to open that up. Uh, so first off, we actually have a subwoofer on the right side for the BNO sound system, uh, which is really, really nice. Give that extra bit of bass. And uh, you do have the uh, storage underneath with the Fix-A-Flat kit, uh, which, is, uh, which comes standard with the Mustangs as well. Now, unfortunately, you do use a little bit of space here with the convertible top. Ford does engineer it quite well, actually. There is still a good amount of space back here uh, with the convertible Mustang. So if you're interested in this particular 2024 Mustang GT convertible, it is for sale here at McPhee Ford. You can either give us a call or you can visit our website at McPheeFord.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.